In this tutorial, we are going to cover the SimLab Composer ZW3D integration plugin. This is a pillow bearing designed in ZW3D and consists of two parts, the bearing and the base. Go to the SimLab tab. The transfer option will send your design to SimLab Composer, where you can modify the materials and create renders among other different tasks that SimLab Composer can accomplish. Link with SimLab Composer, on the other hand, creates a dynamic link between ZW3D and SimLab Composer, where any changes you make to the model in ZW3D will be updated in SimLab Composer, offering you a way to modify the materials and prepare it to render in SimLab Composer while maintaining the ability to modify the model in ZW3D simultaneously. Click on Link. This will initiate SimLab Composer with the ZW3D model inside it. As you can see, the model now has default materials applied to it. Go to the Material tab. Select a material from the materials library and simply drag it to the model to apply it. Dragging a material to an object will apply the material to all the objects that have the same material applied to them. Press F4 on the keyboard to start the real-time rendering and see how the final result of your material would look like. Go back to ZW3D and apply any modifications to the model. Double-click the base part of the bearing to edit it. Go to the Shape tab and select Extrude. Select the face you want to extrude and set the value of the extrusion. Click the green mark to apply the changes. Once you are done with the geometry modification, exit the editing mode for the base of the bearing. Now. Go to the SimLab tab and click Update. Go back to SimLab Composer and you will find a message notifying you that there has been some changes to the ZW3D model and is asking you to take action. You can click Save to save your SimLab Composer model and then proceed to either update or ignore the changes. Toggling the Retain Scene Materials on will preserve any materials you applied in SimLab Composer to the model, but also import any new materials from ZW3D. Having it off will import all the materials from ZW3D and disregard any materials you applied in SimLab Composer. And since we changed the materials for this model in SimLab Composer, and we would like to keep the changes, turn it on and click Update. Now we have the new modified model in SimLab Composer, but we still maintain the materials we applied from the SimLab Composer's materials library. Let's move on to another feature available from SimLab Composer to the ZW3D users. This feature is Texture Baking. Texture Baking is a process that calculates the values of lights and shadows along with the materials in the scene and converts them to a texture map that mimics the behavior of a rendered image when applied to the model. This allows the user to navigate the model and view it from several angles without the need to render each angle separately. Press F4 to render the scene and get the look you desire before baking the textures. Increase the roughness for the bearing material and set the color to white. Once you're done, select the model group from the left panel and go to Geometry. Click on Info. Info will display the number of the selected objects as the number of polygons. As the info box states, there are 249 objects in the scene, which is a large number for texture baking. Considering that each object will have a separate map, you will end up with 249 maps and that will take a considerable amount of time to process. 
click on Merge Material. What this option will do is merge any objects sharing the same material to a single object. Select the model and click Info again. The number displayed in the box is two objects. Since SimLab Composer merged all the objects sharing the base material into one, and did the same for all the objects sharing the bearing material. Go to the Texture Baking Bench and click on Smart Bake. In the Texture Baking settings, you can set the minimum and maximum resolution for maps. SimLab Composer will assign a map size to each object according to the object size in the scene. The sample per pixel determines the quality of the texture baking and it's similar to the SPP modifier used in the SimLab Composer renderer. Dynamic Update controls the rate at which the view will be updated during the baking process. Geometry Processing determines which algorithm to use in the texture baking. Fast is adequate for this model, while more complex models might require setting it to top quality. Optimized baking time will break any high poly geometry into multiple geometries according to the threshold you set. In this example, if any objects exceed the limit of 50,000 polygons each, they will be broken into multiple objects, which would decrease the amount of time required to bake textures onto these objects. Further explanation and tutorials about texture baking can be found on the SimLabSoft's official website. Click OK to start the baking process. Once the baking is complete, you can start navigating the view and be able to see how the light and shadow effects are baked to the model, creating a more desirable look than before. Click on the Show Baked Scene to switch between the baked scene and the regular scene. Click on Sharing, and click on Export PDF. Select the path type, the name of the file, and click Save. You are able to view your baked scene in a 3D PDF document, as well as share it on iPad, iPhone, or any Android devices. Texture Baking features the beauty in your model, and allows you to excel in presenting your design at a very low cost.